first of all, writing was something I wanted to do for a long, 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 long time. And when I was at year three, four in my primary school, I had a teacher who uh, encouraged me to write stories and sometimes said nice things about it, the, the work that I did. And by the time I left her class, I realised that I really liked disappearing into that daydream you want you go into when you write. Because it's, it's good, isn't it? Because uh, it's one of the few things at school where there's not much right or wrong about it, is there? No. And when you do maths, the answer is either right or wrong. Yeah, yeah. And there's nothing in between. But when you're writing a story, it's your story. Yeah. If somebody said, said, tells you it's wrong, you can say, well, actually, it isn't. I've written the story, so I want to write it. Thank you very much. It's my story. It's not your story. I'll write what I want. So um, there, there's that element of having control over it, which is quite nice. And uh, the ideas, I mean, they just... You never know when you're going to get an idea. It could be, I might have one today. Yeah. Sometimes they come in the middle of the night. Sometimes I see something or hear something. Remember things. People tell me things. I read things. Um, you know, they're all... The ideas are out there all the time. It's really a question of noticing yeah. them. Where and when do you like to write? Uh, I don't have any self-discipline about writing. I don't have any routine. I can't say that I go and start work at nine and then finish at 12. Yeah. I write when I feel like writing and I stop when I feel like stopping. And that might mean that I write all day or I write in the middle of the night or I don't write at all. Was it hard making up all of the stories? Sometimes, yes. Sometimes, no. And lots of bits in between. I, I, I love writing. Even when it's going badly, I still like it in a strange way because you've got the, the challenge of trying to make what you know isn't very good a lot better for a start. And at least you're writing something, even if it's bad writing. There's nothing worse than not writing at all and having a completely blank page and just staring at it and thinking, what am I going to do? Um, so, so yes, there are good days and bad days, not so interesting days. Just like being at school, just like doing any job, really. Did anyone ever help you come up with the stories? Occasionally, yes. Not very often. Usually, I've spent so much time thinking about it and working out what's going to happen that uh, I don't need all that much help. But sometimes I get s stuck mm. and... Usually I think of an answer myself eventually, but occasionally I get so badly stuck that I will go and talk to my wife about it, or friends, or, or trees, or hedges, or, um, you know how it is probably, you know, you, you wander around talking out loud to yourself sometimes when you've got yeah. a bit of a problem, don't you? Mm -hmm. Have you ever thought, even though you're really famous, that your books would not be published? Oh sure, when I, was, when I first started writing I spent five years writing stories um, which didn't get published, not a single one of them. And I kept sending stories to the publishers and they just kept sending them back to me saying that they didn't want them. Um, but eventually I wrote a little story uh, that became a, a picture story for young children and once that was done and I got my first book published and the publisher started saying have you got any more stories? So things got better after that. What advice do you have for any young writers? I think the most important thing of all is not to give up trying. If you really, really want to get yourself published, there are all sorts of things you can do to help yourself. In particular, obviously, you want to try and concentrate on the stories that you're writing. Um, but also, I th it's, it's very hard to get published these days. Um, it was when I started, but it's even more difficult because so many people want to do that sort of thing. So you just have to keep at it. Future humans pick up your books. What do you reckon they'll think about us or life today? What would you like them to think? Oh my goodness. Well, I know what I'd, I'd like them to think that we were pretty much okay. <laughs> But I don't think they will. I think they'll probably look at us and think, my goodness me, you would have thought that after thousands of years of civilization, they would have learned not to be so nasty to each other and so unkind and so thoughtless and selfish and so on. But we haven't really had much at all.
What is your favourite colour? Today, my favourite colour is... Mm. What should we say? Oh, azure blue. Mm. 